The new items for Season 14 look absolutely nutty, man. Like, oh my god. Screw what happened to the Rift with its extra camp that increases damage to towers and the battle sled Rift Herald and... Sorry, I got off track. Mythics are finally gone, so let's take a look at those new items. Now, we're mostly going to go in order that the article has, so I'm going to post that in the description of the video below, to, so check it out. And while I don't do a lot of these videos, these new items are super exciting, so I wanted to talk about it. So if you go to check out that article, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. So let's take a look at these items. Now, first off, there's a ton of items that are now gone, done for, Benito. That's right. Better play with them for the last time because they're hitting that old dusty trail. And by the way, these, these are the items that are going away. So let's just take a look at the new support stuff first. Now you might have noticed all the support items are gone. That's right because they're all being replaced by this, the World Atlas. This is basically all those items combined into one. It's pretty much minor stats, but it only costs 40 gold at the start. So this will allow you to start the game with a normal starting item if you don't want a potion. Or you can start with a regular basic item and the pots. Now the World Atlas also combines all the support quests together so you can execute minions, poke for bonus gold, but you still only get three stacks but any champion can do all of them. From there it advances like normal. At 500 it transforms into the Runic Compass. It gives you the rewards and you can complete your support quests and upgrade it to the Bounty of Worlds. And that has one of five passives. First up we have Celestial Opposition. This will basically give the old passive for Crown of the Shattered Queen where you, when you're out of combat you take reduced damage for two seconds after after you take damage. However, it does have an additional passive where a shockwave comes out after you two seconds of taking damage, so it's good for tanks to slow the enemies, or good for range for getting away. Second, we have Solstice Slay. This one allows you to heal the lowest HP ally when you CC an enemy, and increases the damage to the CC'd enemy, so this will make engaged supports happy. Thirdly, we have Blood Song. This is basically a shield that deals bonus damage and increases damage to that target. Perfect for my patented Zed support. Fourth, we have Dream Maker. It says some weird thing about bubbles, but when you heal or shield an ally, they'll either gain 140 damage single bone plating. It's not a shield, because it just reduces the next incoming damage or increased damage on the next attack based on what bubble you give them. Then last up, we have Zack Zack's Realm Spike. This is, this is brand passive. It's literally just brand passive without the delay. All right, that was a lot for one item, but that's really the longest item that we're gonna cover today. So let's take a look at those new items and the changes. First up, we have Trailblazer. This will give you health, armor, and movement speed. This basically gives you the Elixir of Irons passive, where if someone follows you, they gain moment movement speed. Good for an engaged champions as it lets your team follow up. Next, we have Dawn Core. This will give you AP, ability haste, base magic regen, a passive that gives you bonus healing and shielding based on the percentage of magic regen you have and Summoner Spell Haste. This is definitely for those enchanters. And that's it for the new support items, but there were some changes. Echoes of Helia got some changes. Um, items, mythic status, and passives are gone. So any mythic that I discussed, just assume that it's gone. The AP and haste on this item increased a bit. Everything else is the same except for the passive. The passive is the same. It's just static with no scaling. So it just deals the damage with no like AP scaling. Staff of Flowing Water was adjusted. Small increase to AP and manager regen. And the regular stat of movement speed was swapped with the stat of ability haste in the passive. So now the item just gives ability haste and the passive gives movement speed. All right, and that's it for the support items. Now let's take a look at those mage items. Now these are quite a spicy a meatball my god they're so different if you haven't noticed i'm not going over the build pass because that is whatever no one cares about that look new item shiny thing first item we have malignance i think that's how you should say it this will give you ap ability haste and mana 15 additional ability haste on your ultimate oh buddy that ultimate so this burns the ground beneath any enemy that you hit with your alt and it reduces their mr one thing i'm not sure of is if the burn follows them or if it stays stationary on the ground so people can walk over it but we'll see next up we have caster's companion it's actually just basically a direct replacement for Night Harvester, but also a bit of Ludens in there. It gives you AP, ability, haste, and mana, and it charges up six bolts. All these bolts will be released when you hit an enemy with an ability, and if they are isolated, they take the damage again at 35%. But still, if you have like 400 AP, this passive alone is going to deal 583 damage. That is nutty. Another new item is Storm Surge. This gives you AP, magic pen, and movement speed. Now this. This... So this deals 35% of the champ's match HP over 3 seconds when you land an ability and grants you 20% movement speed. Then, after 2 seconds, they'll get a lightning strike to take additional damage, and if they die, the lightning strike will just come down instantly. As an artillery mage lover, 
this is absolutely cracked. Burst mages might actually have a way to deal with tanks in a bursty way. However, I'm feeling like this is going to be nerfed, so don't get your hopes up. Grip Bloom is another new item. Void Staff is still available, but this basically seems like strictly better Void Staff. It gives you AP, Ability Haste, and only 30% Magic Pen as opposed to the 40% the Void Staff gives you. But when you kill an enemy, this creates a healing circle where the enemy died. So it's basically a mini Fiora ult. Whew. And that's it for the new items. However, they did overhaul the existing items as well. Well, first up we have Riftmaker, and the Omni Vamp is gone in the regular stats. Your passive has been changed, so now that when you get five stacks, instead of dealing true damage, you get Omni Vamp. It also gained the old demonic passive, so 2% of your max HP is converted into AP. Now Leandre's no longer gives you ability haste or mana. It passively now deals 2% max HP damage every second over 3 seconds, so 6%, and you gain some damage ramp when you're in combat. Horizon Focus gives you slightly less ability power, more ability haste, but no HP. It has the same passive, but it also reveals champions around that champion that you hit, and since Stopwatch is gone, it's now switched over to the Seeker's Arm Guard ability, which costs a bit more, but it gives you more AP and armor, and now has the Stopwatch ability. Shadow Flame now gives you more more AP, no longer gives you HP, gives you some magic pen, and the passive now critically strikes your spells for targets below 30% HP. This will deal an additional 20% damage on everything to targets below 30% HP. That's an execute, baby. LeBlanc's feeding well tonight. Next, Cosmic Drive gives you less AP and ability haste, but now gives you HP. The passive is basically the same. Last up, Rod of Ages gives you less HP, AP, and mana. Has the same scaling passive, you do get a new passive to restore mana based on the damage that you take and you heal based on how much mana you spend. I think Singe is gonna be happy. Whew. Now that was the longest and biggest changes that they have, but they basically revamped the whole AP system. So now let's take a look at those assassin items. Now we have this new item, Voltaic Cycle Sword. This gives you AD, Lethality, and Ability Haste, and its passive is an energized passive, so you charge it up by moving, and when you get 100 stacks and you attack, you deal bonus damage and slow for 99% for basically what is a second. That's crazy. Next up, we have Profane Hydra. It's the new Lethality Hydra item. Gives you AD, Lethality, and Ability Haste. And it has the same Hydra passive, so attacking deals damage to things around it. And the active has returned. This gives a higher bit of damage to things around you, but also deals increased damage to champions with low HP. Hubris is the new item that I, th I think is really funny. AD, Lethality, and Ability Haste. And I quote you, when you kill an enemy champion, gain a statue of yourself. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds great. Nah, I know what it means. The secondary passive gives you 10 AD, plus one for every statue after you get a kill, and that buff lasts for 60 seconds. Opportunity is another new item. It gives you AD, lethality, and movement speed. You gain lethality when you're out of combat, and then when you get a kill, you get a mini Jinx passive, and you get a burst of 150 movement speed, which is crazy. Sorelia's Grudge seems to be the only reworked item, and seems pretty much catered to his assassins now. Get the armor penetration is gone, and instead it gives you lethality. And the slow is only applied to champions below 50% HP. And we did it! Brutalizer's back, baby! Time to hit people with that stick! Alright, now let's just get into the tank item. Hollow Radiance. Now, I just need to say one thing. Magic resists Sunfire Cape! Woo! This is the best news of the day. I've wanted this for so long. It also has an additional passive that gives AoE damage when you get kills on enemies. That doesn't say enemy champions, just enemies. Great for pushing. I love you, Riot. I love Sunfire. I wish it stacked with the other Sunfire cape. Sad face. Next up, we have Undying Despair. It's also one of the new items. It gives you HP, armor, and ability haste. This took half of Jack Show's old passive, so... I'll Seven seconds in combat, you deal damage to champions around you and heal for 175% of that damage. Now this one, Kernik Rukirn. Sir, we'll go with that. Now this is what I like to call the Mage Ender. HP, 80 magic resist. I repeat, 80 magic resist and HP resist. It also has a passive that gives you 18% max HP magic shield when out of combat for 15 seconds. This also doesn't pop, so you Get that shield until they take it away from you. Now, that's it for the new items. There are some item changes. Jock Show now gives you less HP. Basically doubles the amount of armor and magic resist you get. You don't have the incremental scaling passive, but after 5 seconds in combat, you get 
a 25% buff to all your resistances until the end of that combat. Dead Man's Plate is exactly the same, but now slowing effects against you are reduced by 25%. Force of Nature is on here, but it really just reduces MR by 10 and doubles the passive MR, and that's really it. All right, that's it for the tank items. So now let's get into those fighter items. One of the new items we have is Sundered Sky. This gives you AD, ability, haste, and HP. Its passive is a guaranteed crit on your next attack to a champion for 150% damage and a big heal. This seems like the Divine Sunderer replacement. There's another item called Nitro Hexa Aegis. AD, attack speed, and HP. This gives you 30 ability haste for your ultimate. And when you cast your ult, you gain 35% attack speed and 15% mu and speed you're welcome Trinomere. that's it for the new items now let's get into some of those changes now i'm just gonna put hydra and tiamat in the same category i said this before on the lethality one but the hydra's actives are back so you could use that as an auto attack reset hull breaker and i'll give you slightly more ad slightly less hp and you still get the same movement speed but there is no longer the bonuses for hunting alone so those bonuses are gone the cannon and the supers will still get the bonuses for like the minion bonus you also no longer get the passive damage to towers however now it basically has a built-in demolish that you can do on champions but also deals 400 percent damage to towers oh my god stride breaker now gives you less ad slightly more attack speed no longer gives ability haste and its passive gives you movement speed for dealing damage which i think is already the passive but it also gives you movement speed when you deal damage with the active to each champion hit. Garen's ready to run, baby. Wit's End is in the fighter section, but it still seems like an ADC item. Like, it no longer gives AD, but it only gives 50% attack speed and it's slightly more MR. It also gives 20% tenacity, which I guess is why it's in this section, but it's pretty much also has the same passive. Spear of Shojin doesn't have its stats listed. However, its passive now gives your non-ultimate abilities 15% ability haste. You deal increased damage when you land abilities, stacking up to three times for a 9% increase. And there are some slight differences between melee and range but it doesn't show it it's probably something they're still thinking over all right now last up we're gonna go over the adc items terminus is the only new ad item that you get it gives you ad attack speed it applies magic damage on every hit kind of like wit's end does and last up it's passive gives you either resistances or magic and armor pen based on alternating attacks this is basically a adjusted wits end to work better for adcs for the other items ga there's slight increased ad and armor but basically since stopwatches remove it's just a different build path and then last up phantom dancer gives you less attack speed more movement speed and the passive movement speed is increased in well thank you Jin. and that's it we did it we looked at all the items now don't expect any of these changes to be permanent i'm sure there's still a lot of adjusting that has to go on to make sure that these things are balanced what items are you excited about i as you could have told, I'm a tank and AP player. I'm so excited about those. So I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. Check out some of the gameplay changes in Riot's video. I would push you to mine, but theirs is more updated and actually explained things. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Talk to you later.